Hi everyone. I hope everybody's having a good day today. It's been dreary and rainy here. So it's an inside kind of day. But make the best of it one way or another. And today is Logan's birthday. Mom's coming over uh, a little later, so that's why I'm gonna go ahead and do my my show early today. Okay, uh, life with Stephanie's grandmother needs prayer. This is the prayer list, y'all. And uh, Kara Hamill's granddaughter is still in the hospital and her daughter's having a really tough time. Uh, the Jennifer's friend, this is the praise report one, and who was in the fire came home. No, no external burns, no permanent damage to lungs or windpipe. So she's doing great. That's, that's really good. The prudent gal's friend Randy was diagnosed with cancer. Jennifer's sister has an unspoken request and uh, Zach's aunt is still in pain. Uh, Donna's friend Sue in the praise report, a praise report came through surgery well. Uh, now is doing good. She ate for the first time after having throat cancer removed. She's still in the hospital. Uh, another praise report my sister-in-law Angel is doing good now after her surgery uh, Norma needs continued prayers and Norma has two cousins that have cancer and uh, Norma's mom needs an unspoken request Leah had, she had Botox for her migraines and headaches <clears throat> Tumbleweed needs an unspoken request uh, Christy's aunt has cancer and other problems and Christy's friend is recovering from a brain aneurysm and is in a nursing home and Christy's family for health and for her family uh, Crystal is doing better uh, from her coughing and uh, congestion and uh, praise report life of a wannabe fits fit girl's husband is safe and sound at his training location, and she got the job that she was looking for. The prudent gal's cousin has kidney failure. Um, Mark Mark Raba had sinus congestion. Mark, let me know how you're doing. Give me an update on that, or give us an update. <clears throat> we hope you're doing better. Tracy's mom passed away on Friday, y'all, and Sherm has been sick. And Logan's left knee's been hurting bad, and uh, for Logan's friend, her 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 foot. Terry Henson's friend Tommy. For health issues, he goes for test Thursday. Living outside the the box with Gray Square, uh, Gracie Square. Her water broke at 26 weeks, and they're trying to keep the baby in. Olivia. Is her name for nine more weeks and Tamara Coleman's friend RW uh, prayer for healing in his neck back and ankles Dear Heavenly Father Lord we want to pray for everybody on the list here today whatever their problem is and whatever their issue is with their health please help each and every one of them to get better Lord and Lord say my pray amen okay now I got a cup of coffee here we just brewed and uh, the, the name of the company is S&D Coffee. It's called Today's Gourmet. If you look at your Sam's Club, it's in a, I showed the box the other day. It's in a, a long, you know, square box. There's 42 of them in there. One of these makes a pot. You just put your filter in, tear it open, pour it in there, and then your water. And it is really, really good. <clears throat> they, I was looking for the ones we used to sell where I worked. We used to sell ones that had a filter. They were called filter pack. Some of y'all may know what I'm talking about. And they had the filter and everything. The coffee was inside of it. And basically all you did, uh, I think it was inside of like a cellophane thing. But you tear it open and take it out and just stick it in there. <laughs> and then put the coffee in. You don't even worry about a filter because it's got one. Okay, today our Bible reading comes from 
2 Corinthians 8 through 11. We do not want you to be uninformed, brothers and sisters, about the troubles we experienced in the province of Asia. We were under great pressure, far beyond our ability to endure, so that we despaired of life itself. Indeed, we felt we had received the sentence of death. But this happened that we might not rely on ourselves, but on God, who raises the dead. He has delivered us from such a deadly peril, and he will deliver us again. On him we have set our hope that he will continue to deliver us. As you help us by your prayers, then many will give thanks on our behalf for the gracious favor, favor granted us in answer to the prayers of many. Yeah, prayer. Prayer. Okay, I've already done that. Now, out of our Soul Matters for the Heart book, today is uh, entitled Wounded Healers. He comforts us every time we have trouble, so when others have trouble, we can comfort them with the same comfort God gives us. That's 2 Corinthians 1, 4. All of us have witnessed instance, instances when our friend or loved one has made bad choices or or through absolutely no choice of their own they simply have been confronted with a tough set of circumstances the message of second corinthians 1 3 through 6 is that there is hope for the broken no life is filled with so much pain or in such a state of disarray that the god of all comfort cannot reach down with a healing touch whether you are in need of a personal touch from god in your own life or are walking beside someone else who is broken, some words of encouragement include, God never forsakes us, even if our brokenness is of our own making. God is still kind and merciful and always on our side. He is present in the midst of all circumstances. God can turn tragedy into triumph, even in the darkest moments of the soul. God provides a supernatural comfort and perspective that allows individuals to experience and exhibit God's love and power. Martyrs have died with joy. The terminally ill have led others to experience God's love. God sends helpers, even though God is all-powerful and can intervene directly in healing. More often, He sends human helpers, including doctors, to work on His behalf. It is no lack of faith to turn to others for help. God heals all infirmities in eternity. Yes, God miraculously heals people today, but not in all cases. Paul gives the eternal perspective when he reminds us the sufferings we have now are nothing compared to the great glory that will be shown to us. One day we will all exchange imperfect bodies for immortal bodies. Heaven is a place <clears throat> where there are no more tears. No human words or thoughts can explain away or provide comfort for certain kinds of suffering and pain. Maybe God doesn't want us to be able to do so, but his ultimate expression of comfort is the gift of salvation and eternal life through the death of his son, Jesus Christ. Amen. That's a great devotions again. Uh, this book, it seems like it gets better every day. You, I, I, would, I think y'all would agree by the comments I, uh, that I'm seeing. Okay. Oh. I don't see if this coffee might be. Oh, it smells so good. This is the tumbler I got at Aldi. They were marked down to, I guess they got them and had them in one of the ads and they've had them for a while, the ones that were left, and they marked them down to 279. And this is cork, all cork, and I like that. I like cork, it does a good job insulating too. very hot still okay now I know <laughs> and now it is time for jokes of the day okay been raining I wanted to get out in the garden and plant some seeds I wanted to plant some radishes and I, I found a pack that I had bought that my hair keeps sticking out over there for some reason uh, I bought a pack that has like a variety pack of different types of radishes in it. And I'm, I'm anxious to see what they'll look like. And yeah, jokes of the day. Why did the sea monster eat five ships that were carrying potatoes? 
No one can eat just one potato ship. Everybody knows that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Do you remember when air was free and now it's a dollar fifty? Do you know why? Inflation. Always inflation. <laughs> Who do stamps go to dinner with? Why, they're male friends, of course. <laughs> My five-year-old daughter drew a nice picture of a princess and beautiful flowers and sunshine. Then she brought the picture to me and said, Daddy, Daddy, this is a picture of you and me, but I don't have time to draw you. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, 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 no picture of me. I am constantly drinking Diet Coke. On a rainy day, I told my nine-year-old son that I needed an umbrella because I'm made of sugar and will melt in the rain. Right? I mean, he said, uh... You sure it's not artificial sugar? Ooh, Dad. Ooh, you got you, Dad. Okay. A man was crossing the road when he was hit by a car, which then sped off. A police officer asked the injured man, Did you get a look at the driver? No. He said, But I can tell you it was my ex-wife. How do you know that? asked the officer. I'd recognize that laugh anywhere. Ooh! Hoo -hoo. Probably gave you the old one finger salute, too, I bet. <sighs> Two monsters went to a Halloween party. Suddenly, one said to the other, A lady just rolled her eyes at me. What should I do? The other monster replied, be a gentle man and roll them back to her. Ooh. 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 Nope. Why did the farmer put gas on his spice rack? Because he couldn't keep track of the thyme. GP. <laughs> Let me do this again. Why did the farmer put GPS on his spice rack? Why? Because he couldn't keep track of the thyme. Time. Thyme? How do you say it? <laughs> okay. Couldn't keep track. Have you ever wondered why doesn't glue stick to the inside of the bottle? Hmm? Why? Tell me why. Grandson. When did you first realize you were getting old, Grandpa? Grandpa, when I started having my midnight snack at 9.30 p.m. Ooh, 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 time for Betty Bye, Grandpa. <clears throat> okay, Joy's joke of the day. Nope, not yet. You know what hurts me inside? Internal bleeding. It hurts. Oh, by the way, y'all, look. Ah, ha, ha. I showed it to y'all yesterday, and it's on the back, too. Same thing. Ah, Got to advertise a little bit. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> now it's time for Joy's. No? Yeah. Joy's joke of the day. Put an ant into water. If the ant sinks, it's a girl ant. If the ant floats, then it's a boy ant. Boy ant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ding. Okay, now it's time for Who is this? Let's see. Here we go, right to it. 
Now yesterday when I'm looking for. Okay. I know now, let's see. Well, well. Well, I don't want to do that. Okay, here we go. This is her name is Susan Crow Crow Croft. And she was uh Tracy on the Partridge family. Oh I pressed something. Oh it went back too good. And then our man of the day and Flower Child was telling me that he is a DJ now. Danny Bonaducci. I guess that's how you say it. And he was, you know, on Partridge Family. And he uh, has a, a radio. He's a DJ in Seattle, Washington. I can't remember the station. But she says she listens to him every morning on the morning show. And now, I'll take a guess who these are in here in the comments. And don't be scared. Hmm? Ooh, okay. Here we go, folks. He's a famous singer. He sang the song. Let me take a drink here. Okay. Turn back upright. He sang the song. She's a lady. Whoa, whoa, whoa. She's a lady. Talking about that little lady. And that lady is a mine. Ah, oh, Tim. Does that bring back memories? I know my singing, but you should be able to get an idea. And he sang another one. As long as you love me, but I don't exactly know how that goes. And he sang a bunch more that were real popular. And ladies like to throw their garments at him. That's what was said. And this one. Oh, okay, yeah. This is not exactly a toddler. But she was Daniel Boone's wife on the Daniel Boone Show, Rebecca. And then she was also on The Rifleman. She had like a bed and board, a room and board, or whatever, I mean, you know, where they eat and everything. They had, she had like a restaurant downstairs and a motel or whatever, and then they had whatever. I don't know if you call it that back then, bed and breakfast or whatever, but whatever. It was like a restaurant. And then The Rifleman and his son would go on there. I'll take a steak and potatoes. What do you have, son? Steak and potatoes. All the time. Okay, yeah, guess who it is tomorrow. I mean, in the comments, and I will show you tomorrow. And now, it is time for tablet time. Tablet time. Let's see if my coffee has cooled down a little bit. This thing keeps it really hot. Man. Still about not scalding, but okay. Yeah, tablet time. Where were we? I remember showing that. I remember showing my garden. <laughs> it perked up a little bit more. Okay, I got this. And today's Sunday, so okay. This was um, Missy fixed this for Sherm. It was uh, some kind of like chicken, I believe, with mashed potatoes and baked beans maybe barbecue it was barbecue chicken and mashed potatoes and beans uh, baked beans and we had seafood saturday seafood saturday and it was a good one a real good one the only problem is we were supposed to have potato salad with it and somehow we forgot the potato salad but these, I have to show y'all these uh, pickles, y'all. I forgot to show them to you from, from Aldi. If I can find them. See, oh, here they are. Oh, 
boy. I meant to show these to y'all. I tell you, if I miss something, I'll show it to you the next day. Y'all, if y'all like pickles, we've got a place here in town, and it's called Greg's Pizza. And we've always loved their pickles, but have never found one that tasted just like it. This is the best deli-type tasting pickle that I have ever had. Uh, it was at Aldi. It was like $3.79 or $3.49. But it says Kosher Dill Spears. They have another one that has the whole ones in it. But you can see, I mean, it's in the refrigerated section, too. And I tell y'all, folks, look at that stuff up around right there. The seasonings and stuff. These things, I can't eat the outside part, but I can eat this inside part, if that makes any sense. But I get to at least eat that much of it. But these are delicious. And it says, farm to pack in five days. I guess they're, like it says, keep refrigerated. And I don't think there's much to do in the nutrition facts, but it doesn't have a whole lot of ingredients. I mean, it's, it doesn't say like it's natural or, you know, I guess it is. It just says, you know, cucumbers, water, salt, vinegar, natural flavor, spices, garlic, turmeric, just a few little thing I guess for some kind of preservative but they're delicious I, I really recommend those that's the first time we got them anyway back to seafood Saturday we had um, I know I said to the uh, Parmesan and crested tilapia but I, I remembered that we had some beer battered fillets left that we needed to eat because they were already open so uh, I went ahead and fixed them and then Next Saturday, we'll have the, the tilapia fillets with something. Probably shrimp again. But the shrimp this time, they were a little bit smaller than the last time from Aldi that were $3.99. And, uh, but there was 17 in them this time. So that worked out pretty good as you got more than you did. And then the wontons had, uh, I think, eight in them. The, the rangoon, the crab rangoon. And then here's a couple of them pickles in here, too. Um, it, everything was delicious. Really, really good. And that shrimp was nice and crunchy. Just had that, I love the taste of shrimp. I mean, it's like a, it doesn't taste like fish. Okay, uh, y'all that have been with us for a long time, everybody knows YC. YC Green, she, she always comments on my show and others and um, she's just a real great supporter and she tells us what she fixes for dinner and it always makes my mouth water and everybody else that reads it too she's a fantastic cook well she decided to put some of her stuff on a little video it's her first one and I don't think she's going to be doing a lot of them, but she said every now and then she she will if, if you know, uh, I think she did a real good job on it. It's only, a, uh, it's not very long, so I'm going to go ahead and show it, y'all. It won't take, it's just showing things. It's really like a slideshow, basically. So let me get it going here and let's see if I can make it bigger. Come on. Okay. Where's the sound? I hit the sound. Wow, I'm hungry again. Um, it's just under capital Y, capital C, 
and then green g-r-e-e-n and uh y'all uh, let her know you appreciate that that's really was really nice uh, for her first try gosh that's great editing and everything i can't even edit that good but anyways i, I always help my friends out and you know especially when they're starting out they need need a little help um you know just let her know i wanted to let her know i appreciated it and show what how good she did okay why is that i always catch you goofing off that's easy it's because you walk so quietly oh yeah <laughs> at least she told the truth right i mean <laughs> let's see how do you want <laughs> okay how do you want your hair done like this done okay you gotta look at it i mean <laughs> it's kind of a different type of a cartoon, but what this clothes for cleaning? Oh no! Ah, uh, I guess he just it doesn't have any words. It just says urology associates, and it says clothes for cleaning. I guess everybody has to go to the bathroom <laughs> real bad. <It> has problems <laughs> in, in that area. What's it say? I don't know what that says. Okay. Let's see here. Ashley Crawford, you get home this instant and pick up your dirty underwear like I told you to. In an instant, Ashley's social life was reduced to the status of pond scum. <laughs> That's her mom, I reckon. <laughs> pond scum. This one's funny, you know. Right here. Moses, stop it. <laughs> he can't catch no fish like that, Moses. That's funny. Okay, I believe that's about it on that. We got a few odds and ends that we got. Well, not I didn't go, but Joy went with uh, Logan to get something or other. Oh, yeah, a phone charger. The kitty cat ate the end of the phone charger well she doesn't know the difference between that and a toy right I mean obviously we're gonna have to like roll up our chargers you know roll up the cord and everything and put them away overnight As she went to put it in there and the whole end was chewed I mean you could still see the thing that plugged in but it was all the little plastic thing around the end and stuff was gone <laughs> thing so she's probably teething and stuff but they went to uh walmart but i don't think they really that they just got that phone charger i think but anyway i've got if this might be part of it they got these at the dollar store for logan for his birthday today and this is the kind of stuff we're going to try to start getting a little bit better snack. This is peanut butter and dark chocolate, but it's like nuts and stuff. And there's not, you know, not a whole lot of sweets going on there. And this one has like the M&M things in it. It's roasted salted blend almonds. And these are little two packs. Mid midnight. Milky Way, and we had a, we, Joy and I split a Three Musketeers, but it was a birthday cake flavored or something like that, but it was actually pretty good. Now this one looks pretty healthy, a uh, munchy mix, sweet, salty snack. It's got double dip peanuts, yogurt covered pretzels, salted pretzels, raisins, Dry roasted and salted peanuts, chocolate chip cookie buttons, and premium premium white chips. I think that was at the Dollar Tree. And then um, I asked Joy to get a few more of these lights. Because I really like them. And those ones I showed with the hummingbird on them, they got gone so fast. I wanted more of them because when they're lit up, they really look good, y'all. 
if y'all uh, Dollar Tree has any more of those lights I'm talking about these type things we got some plain ones two of them and then I got two of the the uh, hummingbirds and I wished I'd have got more if I'd known how they look lit up out, you know in the dark stuff I, I would have got more but this one is kind of a July 4th theme I guess they had a bunch of them so I got several of these to put outside stuff and you got a pole naturally got to pull this I don't know if it'll light up or not now let's see oh, there it goes I don't know if you can tell or not can you tell not see what there you go see <laughs> what so they work pretty good and you pull this thing out of the end that'd be good for self-defense I guess if you carried one of these around on you and you just stick it in the bottom, you know, stick it in the ground. And then these top come off too, but I'm not going to mess with it. I always have to take stuff apart and check it out, it seems like. I've always been that way. Okay, let's see what else. We don't have too much. I don't know if they got this. They might have got this at Walmart. I don't think they would have this for a dollar, surely. A dollar tree, maybe they do. It's lemon water, a six pack. And Logan wanted these for his birthday. And they're blueberry, they're Krispy Kreme blueberry mini crawlers. Oh my goodness, they'd be good with this coffee. Just saying. And he got a couple of these uh, blueberry lemonade uh, singles to go. And they're, you know, sugar free. So that'll help him some too. Instead of drinking soda pops, we don't need soda pops. Now, I love a soda pop. I love a Coke with pizza. I mean, I, I really do. Um, we don't have any right now, and we're having pizza tonight, but I really love, I, I mean, I'm just saying, I just love Coke with like a hamburger or a pizza or certain things. But I can, I usually just drink water. I mean, mainly I just drink water. But these are pretty good too, and he likes anything blueberry. And I think, they really didn't get much today. And, uh, hey, that light's still on. Oh, it has to, the top has to be. When you cover the top, the light comes on. Well, I did. There it is. Yeah. Cool. Okay, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the show today. I hope I didn't miss anything. Tonight, for Logan's birthday, I've got, we bought some uh, honey barbecue wings. And I'd already put them in there, I would have showed you. Uh, honey barbecue wings, and I've got them in the crock pot. And they, you know, they really don't have to, I, I think they're they're like pre-cooked, but I'm not for sure. But I've, I'll have them in there for six hours at, I think, 5 or 5.30. 5.30, they'll be in six hours. So I think that'd probably be enough, but I'll check them. And we've got this pizza, I don't think I showed it. For Logan, he picked this out. We let him pick what he wants for his birthday. And, oh, here it is. I had it over here. That's right. Uh, you know, we let him have what he wants. And Joy's going to have what she wants for Mother's Day coming up. This is what he wanted. It's a chicken club pizza. They've got a good variety of pizzas at Aldi. Uh, Fire-baked crust. And it's got diced white meat chicken, mozzarella and parmesan cheese spinach diced tomatoes bacon and creamy roasted garlic sauce so that sounds pretty good something different too i mean they do have oh gosh they probably got about eight at least eight different kinds i would imagine and sometimes they have more than others and they just don't carry them all the time but they had a real good variety when he was looking yesterday and we let him pick so um if you uh please press that like button and subscribe if you haven't already and press that notification bell so that you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody have a great evening and God bless. Bye-bye.